morning everybody welcome to my channel um first and foremost today i want to do a shout out to frank and judah i hope i pronounced it correctly if not please um please excuse me um now i've been encouraging you guys to like when you when you try my recipes to take a photograph and um, tag me on um, instagram and um twitter right and frank and judah did that they picked they did that right and um, on instagram and what i will do i would um i'll leave a link in the description box below because with my facebook post i post that picture on facebook so you could you know, check it out and you could see the post that she did um she made some homemade bread using my um my recipe and she also recommended to her mom and they said that they they, they they break even really really good i'm happy to hear that i like to hear stories like that so i, I encourage you to um if you try my recipes and you're happy with them take a photograph and tag me on instagram and twitter and you know what i'll give you a shout out like how i'm doing today to frank and judah thank you for trying the recipe thank you for tagging me so i can see what 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 the the result is like i'm so happy for that okay today i'm doing my recipe is um a, a peas and rice i'm using pigeon peas today this request was made by theola marshall i'm sure i have that name correct i pronounce it correctly so um, let's go to the kitchen and um, see how we make this piece of rice um, with pigeon peas. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. And then one onion finely chopped. Some side. This is um, three sticks of side that I chopped up. Sive. I'm going to add two hot peppers. Now I'm going to add the pigeon peas. This is two cups of pigeon peas, dried pigeon peas that um that I tenderize in my slow cooker. So I just use, I'm just using two cups of the dried pigeon peas. I'm going to season this with some all-purpose seasoning, a generous amount, some black pepper. <clears throat> some garlic and parsley I think I'll still add a pinch of salt but of course I'll taste later on to make sure there's enough salt now I'm going to add coconut milk I have two cups of coconut milk that's the entire can of coconut milk okay next I'm gonna add one one and a half cups of rice parboiled rice what I'll do I'll leave a list of ingredients in the description box below so like I like before if I make any errors um, it's listed down in the description box below all right, so I have one and a half cups of rice and we'll need some of that amount in liquids. So I already have two cups of water, coconut milk in here. So I'll just add one more cup of water to have a total of three cups of water, liquid, sorry. I'm, I'm going to let this cook and let the rice totally cook. Okay, so here's my rice all fully cooked. I tasted, tasted it, added a little, a pinch more salt, and I added another cup of water because previously the rice wasn't fully cooked as yet. So I'm all done. So my next step is for presentation. Okay, folks, there you have it. My peas and rice made with dried pigeon peas. Looking scrumptious, doesn't it? Can't wait to dig into this. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.